Okay, Stuart, we're in the brew house. Take it away. Well, you're in somewhere really special here, Simon. Yeah. And you're going to look at something really special. We have something here that, in a brewery of our size, is unique in the British brewing industry. Wow. Oak masters that go back to pre First World War. Oak masters. Oak. Now, we're brewing Spitfire here today. Yeah, take the split up and you got to look inside it. Oh, look at now, that. That's a larger version of what you saw already, what we did in the pilot brewery. And there's the mash in there. It's sitting quietly, converting the starts to sugars in exactly the same way. But this vessel here, oak, the floor is oak. The, the whole vessel is made of oak. Look at this, man. And all yeah. of our cask ales, all of our ales are brewed in this, these two oak vessels. Fantastic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's so this has been built, this couldn't have been built someone else and brought it in. No. This has been uh, built on built site. Twice. Yeah, on site. Now yeah. The, the beauty of uh, this is Spitfire, as I say. Now you go, and here, there's a good case, a larger oh, yeah. rest of the yeah. use already. Yeah. And there's a masher, a steel masher, and that spout there that goes in, in that corner, as you yeah. can see. We turn that wheel and it will swing in and we mash in the second half of the grits into the second vessel here. Yeah. So you get the second part of the Spitfire and the second mash done. And again, there's the mash in there. And you can start to smell it, yeah. That's it, you see? Yeah. So that's a, a total and the taps will set an hour later, exactly as we did. Now, what's special, what is really special about Chef Neem, apart from being Brit Jones Brewer, you've got oak mash tons here, unique, fantastic. Yeah. It gives it helps to give the characteristics to the great Shepherdine beers. Yeah. Side by side with a modern stainless steel computer controlled brewing stream. Yeah. Now most breweries when they put in a new stream will either rip out the old to make space. Yeah. Or at best they'll leave the old one as a as a museum. Bit of a museum for tourists, yes. yeah. But the Shepherd Neva had the foresight to leave this these fantastic vessels in here side by side and running in parallel every day with the stainless steel computer control brewer. So we're brewing, right now as we're standing here, you've got Spitfire running here, and you've got Asahi, I got you, yeah, the world the, famous, number one lager in the world, brewed here at Shepherd Name, has been now for over seven years, running in parallel. Brilliant. Fantastic, isn't Absolutely it? fantastic. And I just, if I could just touch on one thing quickly, uh, we've seen, we seen a programme on Channel 4, Time Team, where they were making cannons, uh, holding the cannons together with, with metal bands. Yeah. That's exactly the same as the, as the yeah, process yeah, of making yeah. this technique, metal bands. It's just holding so the wood, holding the wood tight, in much absolutely. the same way as the, as the hoops in a barrel, hold the, 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 the stage nice and tight. Yeah. And of course, these are used every day and hug, hugging for the light, so they're always moist and the wood swells, yeah. so there's never any danger of the wood drying out and, and it leaking. We've had these vessels tested by Coopers from Duff Town up in Scotland right. quite recently and they say they're fantastic. They're better than some modern vessels that are made in other places. I can imagine. So it's, uh, it's a testament to what was built in these times. Do and the way we looked after it. Can I just ask, it's been new since uh, 1916 this one, 1914 that one, it's been nearly a hundred years. Mm. Do you still get some of that oaky, oaky flavour in the beer, even on that, or has that all just been uh, over the hundred years that's all been well, done? The, the, the essence of putting these, these, the type oak that went in there was we didn't get the, the, the oaky flavours coming out into the beer. Yeah. Certain oak, oak give too, too much resin, too much oil that would flavour the beer. Yeah. So, uh, and I'm, I'm getting this from Bobby Neem, uh, who's Jonathan Neem's father. We right. uh, had to get a particular type of oak in here that, that wouldn't impart too much. Unlike the oaky you get from uh, wines like Rioja coming yeah, through. Yeah. We didn't necessarily want that in ales at that time. So the oak we're using here didn't impart a great deal of these uh, oils or essences or whatever, call it what you will, that came from the oak. Yeah. It's important we didn't do that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, people may have a different view nowadays with the different quirky beers that are brewed. Yes. Uh, yes. That's that might be. But in these times, yeah. and, they said, and he would get it from his father and his grandfather, Bobby Neem, so that would come right down. Jonathan is a fifth generation uh, brewing here at uh, Shepherd Neem, so uh, they're, they're walking history books. Brilliant. Okay, so. Uh, should we walk on to the walk next up, part? Yeah, then? let's walk through here. Okay. And we'll walk through and we'll just follow the, the plan. I'll just close this to keep the heat in on the Spitfire. I don't want to spoil the Spitfire. Really, no, no, look at that. Well, let me show you some of these special windows here that depict the, the farming life that goes that is behind brewing. The hot growing uh, and the barley growing in the, keg, the field around the keg. And it's these special windows here. Windows here with some stained glass in it. Fantastic. These went in in the year 2000 when we put in this modern lager stream here. Now these depict, these windows 
This window depicts hop growing in the fields around about Kent. And you can see all those houses. There's a man stringing up the hops there on the stilts. Yeah. Uh, there's a man there with the on Brown's race called the, the, the Tally Man. He would give these to the hop pickers to tell them how much hop they'd pick. Right. There's a horse grown uh, combat harvester there, you see, reaping the reaping the grain. And the old uh, picture in the middle of the the hop pickers from the east end of London probably down picking hops, the hoppers. And on the far side you've got the mash tons, the maltings there, somebody rolling the barrel. Everything that depicts what is great about beer in Kent. Up even including the Spitfire in the top window there. Yeah, there's the Spitfire the right up in the top. Yeah, window. and the signpost on the far side called the Bishop's Finger. Yes. Ah, that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called the Right, let's go and have a look at that, Mark. Yeah. Can you get right in over there? Well, that's, that's the Bishop's Finger. Go back there. Now, right. back there, that's pointing. It's called the Bishop's Finger because it's pointing pilgrims the way to Canterbury and the shrine of Thomas of Becket. Right. It's called, it's a road sign and it's called the Bishop's Finger. So right. our beer is named after that. I've got you, I've got you, yeah. Oh, and yeah. there's, some other, there's another side of here which is intriguing me. Was this the original name for Shepherd Neen? Shepherd and Mayors, yes. Before the Neen family came in, uh, it was uh, the Mayors family. Uh, but the, the Neens became involved in the early part of the 1800s, so they've been uh, involved in running the brewery for a long, long time. Fantastic. And, well, I think we're going to go and drink some water now. Not water, we're going to taste liquor. Liquor. Fresh, fresh liquor. liquor from our wells. Pure mineral water that's used to brew all the great ales and lagers that we brew at Shepherd Neen. Let's taste it now. Yeah, let's go and have another. Mm. This is coming straight from the wells. And we have this here so that visitors coming around the brewery can taste the pure mineral water. From hundreds of feet beneath the brewery. Pure chalk filtered mineral water. Look at that. You taste that. You can taste nothing finer than that. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Pure beautiful water. Yeah, absolutely. But we don't call it water in industry, what do we call it? Liquor. We do indeed, it's cold liquor. Cold liquor. The only place you have water is in the toilets. <laughs> I see. Anywhere in the process, it's liquor. Right, I got you. It's gorgeous, that, isn't it? That is really refreshing. That's pure, we've had it analysed and the mineral content checked. We can actually bottle this and sell it as pure Shepherd Neen Favisham mineral water. Isn't it fabulous? That is that is fabulous. And I don't think there's many breweries that got fresh water. Well, some breweries still have their own wells. Yeah, yeah they do, they do. Yeah. But a lot of breweries have, uh, particularly breweries in towns, switched yeah. to town, um, switch to town's water as, for one reason or another, the wells became unfit for purpose, yeah. either due to contamination or for other reasons. But nowadays people can uh, treat, uh, treat the, the liquor to make it uh, fit for brew. But this is pure, straight out the ground, well liquor. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. Very good. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It is good. You want to try it, Mel? Yeah. Okay, so we just tasted the fresh well water. We did indeed. Now we're going to go through now and I'm going to show you the mills where we crush the grain. But just before we go, as you stand here, you get a great idea what Shepherd Neen is about. Right. Hands on, really traditional ale brewing and oak mash tuns and computer controlled lager brewing. I've got you. But don't forget what I told you earlier. The science of brewing is exactly the same. Yeah. Just you've got different materials of construction, different methods of control. Yeah. But what's coming out at the other end and the science of what's it's happening the in there is exactly the same. Does the computer make things easier for it you? It gives you more control over temperatures, it gives you uh, more control over time. Yeah. I mean, this vessel here is steam jacketed. Right. So we can mash in at a certain temperature, turn the steam on, raise it a little bit, and we can do what they call stepped mash conversion. That you can't do in that because it's one temperature, when it's in there, there's nothing you can do about it. That's why what we did this morning was absolutely vital. Getting the temperature of the liquor yeah. right, yeah. getting the consistency right, so we know we're going to get the consistency. But, let's go through and look at the mills now. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, there we are. So this is where the, yeah, this is the milling process. This is the milling process and we're, it's in action at the moment. There's a mill here, that's over a hundred years old, this mill. Wow. And we're crushing the malt for the next brew coming up. Fantastic. That'll be the second Spitfire this afternoon. 
great. So it's, it's being fed in. It looks like it's being fed in from. It is indeed. Up there. It's, it's coming in from our silos. Coming okay. up from the silos. Now this wooden uh, housing up above the actual mill. What's this doing? This is actually called a malt dresser. Okay. Now that's cleaning up the malt. It's taking out any husk, any dust, any stones. There's magnets in it to take any metal out, any thin grain. So you're only going to present good grain to the mills. Okay. So it's yep. taking out bits we don't want. That's so amazing. that's called a malt dresser. And that goes back even older than the mill. That's way, way old. That's probably 150 years old. That's maybe more. Look, yeah, like an, like and this used to be driven by a steam engine. And you can see above our head here, Wow. The old wheel, yeah. the drive wheels and the... And again, they kept it. Kept it, they yeah. Kept the steam it, yeah. engine is still here, so we can look at that later on. Fantastic. So this is a mill room and it churns away every, all of the day, crushing grain for the next brew. How old is this? That's over 100 years old, this. Over and this will be oh, 150 years old, 150. maybe older. Maybe older. Wow. Right. Magic, magical history. That's it the is. only word. It's magical oh, it's history it's here in yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah. As, as you go around, you're going to see a real blend of old and modern. But you're in, you're in the old at yeah, the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Let's okay, walking from the mill room, we're going to go up and have a look at the coppers. Have a look at the coppers, yeah. We're bo this is a previous brew. We're actually boiling up here now, boiling with hops. It's the next stage in the process after mashing. I got you. Got you. Now, as you come up here, you won't capture this in film, but you'll get a lovely hoppy smell now. You get a yeah. lovely hoppy aroma. Yeah. From the coppers? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. You fill, fill your lungs with oh, it. Oh, I fill your lungs, yeah. So you can see the, the steam, that's a hop addition point there, so you get the steam coming out of there. So that's the that's the aromas we're getting here from uh, from the boiling work. So that's where you add the hops there? That's where we add the hops. Okay. Same as okay. adding the door, opening the door. Yeah. So you just yeah, add the hops and open the valve and the hops go straight in. Brilliant. So you've got two way. coppers up here. You've got a copper for lager and a copper for the ale on this side. So you've got two coppers. Magic. Are they? Are they in? I, I know. you got some coppers outside? They all. Is well, this one as, an as I open one? this door, and ah, I'll show you. Yeah. These are the, the head. fermentation vessels. Now we'll go straight out here and wait to see this. Okay. Wow. These are the fermentation vessels. We have over 60 fermentation vessels here, Simon. Very mid size, from 120 barrels up to over 600 barrels. 600 barrels? Yes, that's a lot of pints. It's a lot of beer. That is a lot of beer. It's a, a lot big of beer. Brewery. We're brewing over 250,000 barrels a year here at Shepherd Name. A wow. mixture of ales and lagers. That is that is amazing. So, um, what percentage of ales do you do and what percentage of lager? Are you still predominantly ales or.? It's 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 probably sixty percent lager now, right? Okay. Ales, but most yeah. all of the, apart from the small pack that I showed you earlier, yeah. most all of the ale that we do in large pack is cask. Yeah. So we think of ourselves and are as ale cask beer brewers, Absolutely. brewed in these oak mash stands. Oh, but fantastic. in saying that, we're also very skilled lager brewers, and we yeah. brew international lagers under license. We brew yeah. Asahi, Kingfisher, Sunlick, a Chinese beer, Orange yeah. Bloom, Hurleyman. Yeah. Uh, we brew lots of them under license for different people. Quite a bit. It's quite windy here. It's okay. as windy, if you, yeah. If you put it, just wrap it in there, it'll be fine. Okay. If you wanted to see You're still filming? Here. Yeah. All oh, right. Um, so, now we're up here, Simon. That's the steam from the copper that's blowing here. Yeah. That's lovely. That's, that's a classic smell that you get in a brewing town. Yes. That we're getting here. If you walk through any big brewing town, you used to get it in Edinburgh in the 60s, in the Cardiff, 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 Cardiff when, Brains, when the copper's yeah. up in Brains. That's the smell you're getting. It's the smell of the copper up. You're getting all the, the hoppy volatiles coming up and going down into the town. And depending which way the wind's blowing, it can go away to atmosphere or it can just hang there in the town and you yep. get a lovely. There Absol you go. Absolutely. Now. How about and that, and yeah? it's beautiful, isn't it? Right on cue. It's absolutely right on cue. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> isn't this fabulous? Yeah, I, I remember going um, as a boy walking through Cardiff in the old brewery and um, it was right by the arcades. Aye. And the smell used to waft down the That's old right. arcades uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was it's a, a lovely. See, you and I think this is a lovely aroma, but we get school kids coming in here and they walk a bit holding their nose yes holding their nose yes you feel like yeah. giving them a slap in yeah. Them, you? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a beautiful it aroma it used to make me hungry yeah it used to make it's me a hungry classic. Oh. yeah yeah, yeah. So, so you used to some of the I, look at some of the old part of the brewery yeah. here well, with the old that's roofs. where the malt silos are in there in that big long building there and that's a traditional kent peg tile roof that's I, again yeah, you're looking say. at something that, that's really historical and uh, of historical importance and there's a creek, the Favisham Creek, just uh, just leading down there. You see that the ship mast there, that's tidal. So when the tide comes in, that uh, fills up with water, 
in, in Henry VIII's time, in Elis Queen Elizabeth's his, his daughters, the the galleon, the galleon, that's Spanish, the sailing ships used to come up here and stock up with gunpowder yep. at the, the ore gunpowder factory at the head of the creek and they'd fill it with gunpowder and sail away and blast the Spanish. That's, that's brilliant, yeah. absolutely. Cool, um, is it a way of, um, I, I don't know if there's, okay, that, that'll Okay, Stuart, that's all the, that's the steam. Copper up. That's, that's the Both coppers up. Now you've got your ale copper there and your lager copper there, boiling nicely. Uh, just getting the brew ready for the next stage in the process, which will be removing the hops. Once yeah. we've extracted all the bitterness from them, we want to get rid of them. Uh, and we'll do that through a whirlpool process. And then we'll uh, take the sweet, now bitter wort and run it through a chiller into a fermentation vessel. That's where we're going to add the yeast. It's fascinating to know that since the 1500s, which we were talking about earlier, um, there's been there's been um, the smells from the brewery going all the way going all the way over the town, look, Mel. Yeah. And so people from the town have every morning they've woken up to right. the, the, smell the, the smell of the mash. The smell of the mash. That's right. Every morning since yeah. 15. And you get people moved in good times. You know, I don't like the smell of it that's coming from the brewery. Um, well, why the brewery? Been yeah. here since the 1500s. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If you don't like it, we'd be here longer than you. Yeah. But you've got to appreciate it, you've got to educate people on what it is. So if you actually tell people what's actually happening, take them on board, yeah. then they can have an appreciation of what natural process brewing beer is. Natural raw materials, malted barley, hops, water, wells from wells deep beneath the brewery, and our own natural yeast. What could be better than that? It's fabulous, what a great story we tell. And it's Britain's oldest brewer. vessels are twice as big as this okay. and they're all stainless steel laser clad and uh, fiberglass insulated to, yeah. keep the, to keep the heat out and, and yeah. to keep the heat in depending on which stage of the process is yeah. but to keep them cool and these large uh, pipes or mains going up there that's glycol that's a chilling element that keeps the fermentation nice and cool right. and that's what these are and this, right. is a, this is the fermentation room. something it's, else isn't it it's it's like a a wall of beer. But it's a bigger version of the fermentation vessel that you and I are going to run the ginger porter into. Yeah. So you can see the parallel. You can, you certainly can see the parallel in, in, in what you're achieving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. Should we have a walk around? Let's have a walk around there. Yeah. Take around around the corner here. Okay. Downstairs, and I'll show you the, the vessels and the mains, etc., from below, so you can get an idea of the scale. So, let's go and do 